it's almost not possible to do enough. We're in an extremely challenging phase. I think we're seeing governments around the world, to the extent they have the capacity to do so, to support their people as much as they can through this challenging time. But we need to understand that it's going to be a difficult and rocky recovery. And using the fiscal space that we have pushing as far as we can to really support people is absolutely the right thing to do. It's, it's what we need to do during this time. Uh, this is the time to make sure that people can get through this and we can have an economy when we get out, uh, hopefully at the end, relatively soon. And what role do you think the OECD can play in helping to rebuild after the pandemic? Well, having been a finance minister during the course of the emergency, what I can tell you is there was there was no playbook for any of us. We all had to come up with new policies to support people without any clear sense of exactly how they would work. In the next phase, what the OECD can do is gather and help to make sure that we have an understanding of the evidence of what's worked and what hasn't worked, where we can put our efforts to help with recovery. That sort of uh, understanding of, of the, the situation analysis of policies to come out, in particular, where we can focus our energies to have a greener recovery. That'll be critically important. A, a central place like the OECD that's got a rigorous approach to looking at things is absolutely critical to uh, helping co countries to get through this. One of the tools that the OECD has been pushing for to help offset the cost of the pandemic is the cross-border digital tax, a hugely controversial measure that has led to the threat of tariffs from the Trump administration in the U.S. Clearly, uh, American interests are different from others because most of the tech giants are domiciled in the U.S. So how do you find common ground against this backdrop when it comes to the digital tax? Well, uh, first of all, let's just agree that it's important. We, we want to make sure that the digitization of our economies continue and people need to support that. They need to see that the taxes are fair. So, so there's, a, there's a real issue here that needs to be resolved. I think the, the way we get to a conclusion is to recognize that for the digital giants, it's better for them to understand what their situation is. They need to understand what their tax situation is in different countries. So they have a vested interest in getting to a conclusion. I hope that if I'm the next Secretary General of the OECD, as you know, I'm, I'm looking towards that potential, that I can act as a broker between the European perspective and the American perspective and make sure that we, we encourage the industry to continue investing, but do it in a fair way that recognizes where their value is coming from. Is there any alternative to a cross-border digital tax like this? In my estimation, the only way for us to make this work is to, is to come to a conclusion, because otherwise there'll be a series of different national actions which will make it uh, difficult for uh, the continued digitization of our economies. So I, I think that we need to get together, uh, work to get to a solution, and certainly that would be among my very first priorities if I end up as Secretary General of the OECD.